as far as I understand it, those Jamaicans who left in the era of the Windrush were not viewed in any negative way by other Jamaicans or by other persons within the wider Caribbean. I believe it was seen as persons making use of an opportunity to better themselves and their families, as well as persons seizing an opportunity to assist in the development of the motherland. That may not have been the wider text, but there were at least those persons who felt that it was a way to make a contribution to the development of Britain after the Second World War. I can speak specifically of the Jamaica Baptist Union and the Baptists in particular, and to know that there were reports of our brothers and sisters who migrated to England facing racism, facing rejection, and who had a difficulty settling in many of the churches. And it was a matter of great concern, concern to the church hierarchy and the church membership back in Jamaica. And I also know that persons did use the opportunity to try and engage the Baptist Union of Britain in ways that if they could work and journey together to find ways to minimize the negative impact on racism. But yes, there was the feeling, there was the knowledge at least, that there were persons facing situations of racism. And there was great concern within the churches, within the leadership of the church, and I suspect within the wider society. I don't think that any significant group of persons in Jamaica, perhaps the wider Caribbean, uh, formed the view that Britain was not a Christian country. I believe that there has always been the view that Britain was Christian. And part of the reason for that is that many of our churches were formed by persons from Britain. And many of the missionaries who played an important role in the growth and in the development of Christianity were Christians who served in Britain. There was also a kind of a relationship between churches in Britain and churches in Jamaica in terms of facilitating the faith. So I'm not sure that there was any ever the view formed that Britain is not a Christian country. What I do know was that there was disappointment, great disappointment, on the realization that churches within Great Britain did not exercise or express that Christian love and charity to the migrating West Indians in the way that we understood Christianity to be expressing that love and hospitality to these persons. So I am not so sure that there was ever the view formed or that the view even exists to this day that Britain is not in some way significant to Christian. I think the impact will have to be assessed in a number of ways and perhaps at a number of different levels. I think on a, on, a, on a personal level, there were many families who were impacted negatively by the fact that parts of their families, mothers or fathers, uh, stayed in Britain for a prolonged period of time. And that may ha would have had a negative impact. I know of many stories of persons who never met their father or mother or whose mother or father never played any great role in their development because of that long uh, stay in Britain. On the other hand, there was always, for the most part, I think we could say generally speaking, there was always a willingness to play a part financially in the development of family and children. So the, the idea of sending back remittances, of paying school fees, or of, of making this financial contribution was always there. And I think on a national level, the, the, the fact of persons existing in the diaspora in places like Great Britain has served the country in many ways, one, one giving, giving Jamaica a presence in many of the metropolitan um, regions of the world, but also with the inflows of remittances that persons constantly send back to Jamaica, and as well as the role they play in development of, uh, whether it's construction of homes, of businesses, assisting family, that that has been significant. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, that may be the largest inflow of foreign exchange to, in the nation today, what we call remittances, is a significant item on the, on the 
with regards to the inflow of foreign exchange in the nation. So I would say that it had a negative impact, perhaps perhaps more so on the on the level on the personal family level, and it had a, a, a kind of a positive impact on the the national level and, and in some cases of the national budget. I do not see at all our family members, our brothers and sisters who live in the United Kingdom as different from ourselves. And, and that is for a number of reasons. For one, it is family. These persons who have gone to UK have always been family, have remained family for the most part. We have been in contact and communication, generally speaking, and they are welcome and return home whenever they choose to as family. Uh, another reason is the fact that the fact of their, many of them returning home now, and there's a, quite a significant uh, segment of the population called returning residents who have come back home. And for the most part, apart from the cultural readjustment, they have settled very easily into the country, have been involved in community life, been involved in church life, been very involved. Uh, and most persons are happy to see them back home. You know, so I don't see at all or ever heard of any persons viewing them as differently or viewing them from those persons who are back in Jamaica because after all, they are our family, brothers and sisters. What it has done though is that it has assisted in a broadening of the definition of who is a Jamaican. And there are many persons who are now saying that a Jamaican is not necessarily someone who borns on the rock called Jamaica, but someone born of Jamaican parentage, someone born with Jamaican culture and affinity. So there is, I don't see any negative, any viewing of persons who are born in the United Kingdom as being different from those who are of us who live on the rock, so to speak. I think one of the things that we have to appreciate now is when persons use the word, or use the phrase that the world is a global village, that it really is true. I mean, I for one accept that uh, a Jamaican or Jama Jamaica and Jamaica is much bigger than the island that resides in the Caribbean Sea. That they have Jamaican communities all over the world and that there is a sense of connection and connectedness that, that is maintained through music, through sports, through culture, through personal contact. And I think that we are at a point where the, the need is now to ensure that those bonds remain strong and that the, the flow of, of support, encouragement, love continue, continue in both ways, that it, that it continues to be reciprocated um, to and fro. I think that the world is becoming much smaller and the fact of the growth in communication in the world is a means of assisting to even make the miles between us shrink. I think that is, that is a, a feature of the world going forward.